Just so we make sure we get all of this in before the rain starts, why don't we uh, why don't we get started? And anybody who comes later will just have to join us. Thank you all for um, for coming this morning to help us observe what is America's probably one of America's most uh, solemn holidays. It was just a uh, statistic that I I heard that only 28 percent of Americans know what Memorial Day is all about. And I'm sure that everybody here is are not amongst that, uh, or are amongst the 28 percent. I know I know I'm going to miss somebody in the crowd. Um, first of all, we have uh, Magisterial District Judge Stephanie Klein. Stephanie is here. Um, we have members of Borough Council. I know Mary Lou Parker. Is anybody else here from Borough Council? Mary Lou is here rep uh, representing Borough Council today. So Mary Lou, thank you for coming. I also just want to recognize uh, uh, some of the uh, members of the Boy Scout Troop 112 Sw uh, from Swarthmore, Anthony Capanella, uh, Nate Irvin, Roger Lux, David French, and uh, visiting from Ohio actually is, is uh, uh, Nate's uncle Dave, who's here, also out. And from uh, Cub Scout Den 7, Pack 112, uh, Andy Connell and uh, Timmy Campanella and Ann Campanella, Den Leader from Den 7. So thank you all for being here. I'd like to introduce uh, uh, Mayor Eck Gurner, who will give the invocation. Good morning and welcome to Swarthmore's observance of Memorial Day. This is a day for remembrance, and in that vein, let us pray together. Dear Lord, we gather here today to honor the American men and women who gave their lives on the field of battle. We recognize their ultimate sacrifice made to preserve our freedom. We are forever indebted to these men and women of our armed forces who gave their lives so that we might be free. We take this opportunity to recognize those named on our memorial plaque, friends, neighbors, and family members. We are thankful for those people who have spoken to us in the past years to help us learn more about those named on the plaque 
and other special brave individuals who died in service to our country. We also want to acknowledge and honor our service veterans who are with us this morning for their dedicated service to America. We pray for the safety of America's armed forces who are currently serving around the world. Please watch over them and bring them home safely to those who love and miss them. Let us all now take a moment for a solemn reflection, silent solemn reflection, to give our own personal thanks. Amen. Amen. And thanks to all of you for being here today to participate in our town's observance of Memorial Day. First of all, can everybody hear okay? Is that loud enough?